after a long time just sitting down doing nothing after recording the first episode of RT1 Take, I realized that I had a lot of potential I could do with this series, and getting me to experiment with games that I never even heard of at all. And the perfect example for that would be Enslaved. I have actually never heard of this game. I was scrolling through the demos of the uh, Xbox 360. I passed by this game, saw the cover, and I was like, huh, never seen that game before. And I started downloading it. So, yeah, I'm going to go into this with no information whatsoever, so I have nothing to say except, here I go. So, yeah, welcome to episode two of RT One Take. And this is my third video in one day. Yeah, I know, I'm pretty productive today. But it is Sunday, so expect less work within the week. And I, I was going to do Skyward Sword, but I don't want to just run around like I did last time and just get stuck. Because I really don't know what to do. Oh my god, another Namco game. Wow, it's a pattern. First one was DBZ, which was also made by Bandai Namco. Now we're doing a second game that's surprisingly made by Namco as well. I didn't do that on purpose. Enslaved. Odyssey to the West demo. Press start. Start demo. Let's go normal. Movement is the analog stick. To skip cutscene is select. Block is the right bumper. Heavy attack is Y. B is to use. Well, I don't want to use people. That's just mean. What an action for a controller. I press A to jump. And X to attack. Chapter 1. The Escape. So we're starting right in the beginning of the game. I like it. Welcome to Slave Ship 909. En route to Pyramid. How you old is this game? And it looks pretty new. Sustained during your capture have been designated as non-life threatening. Remaining journey <laughs> time is Sorry, I got a hiccup. At 16 hours. If you are experiencing severe nausea, Whoa. or need to relieve yourself, <sighs> to I can tell this runs on the Unreal Engine. It looks a lot like Gears. Ooh, he's pissed. I'd be pissed too if I was trapped in a thing like that. Free from the random hazards of the wild. Compliance will be rewarded with safety. Ooh, pretty girl. She looks like someone who's gonna help us get out of this thing. Warning. Temperature critical. Yeah. Explosion! Oh, she didn't help us. Let me out of this thing. Oh, well that's one way of getting out of it. Now we just gotta latch that door open. Oh, yep, he's already a step ahead. You good, dude? He's got kind of Super Saiyan hair already. No wonder he's so strong. This isn't even his final form. Alright, can we move yet? Or is this... No, that's still a cutscene. Oh, now I can move. Ah! What the heck? Okay, press A to jump! This is interesting game feel already. Okay. Uh, D. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, I'm getting a definite Gears feel from this game already. Except it moves a lot better than Gears. It's not as tight. Parkour! Yeah! Yeah! Can I fight anything, or are they just going to explode or combust spontaneously? Okay, nothing to explore here except to just run and jump. Oh, look, there's that girl. Oh, God, I fell. Okay. Ah, fire. Don't want to go near that. Fire is not helpful. Um. Yep, fire is definitely not helpful. Um, maybe I get on these boxes? There we go. Come on, dude. Jump! Nope. That didn't work. Oh, there we go. Now you jump higher. Hey, look, another dude. And they all explode. Stop exploding. Jeez, I want to fight you. Well, I'm interested, to say the least. Let's fucking go! 
Yeah, oh god. Ah. Okay, so you double tap A to roll. Whee! I made it! Ah, god. The camera's making me really dizzy. Oh, okay. This guy's really athletic. His muscles aren't just for show. Whoa! Oh, jeez! Alright, that was cool. Uh, let's go. I want to talk to that girl. Where are you going? Yeah, where are you going? Stop leaving. Let's get off this thing. I might be... Oh, God! I might be dangerous, so that's probably why she's running. I, d I guess we gotta go under. Oh, uh, that was a terrible idea. Everything's spontaneously combusting in this room. Or in this entire location. What is wrong with this game? Oh, God, we're in the sky? This thing's in the air? I didn't see that coming. Go! Good thing those things are glowing, or else I wouldn't know where to go. Is A while standing near... what? A handhold? Oh, there it is, it's glowing! Where's the next handhold? There we go! Ah, oh, I feel so professional! There we go! Uh, Jesus is scary for a first chapter in a game. Escape pods. Now you're talking. You're setting your standards really high. Oh god. What I mean by that is you never want to start a game off strong, because if it sucks, then you, people won't want to play it anymore. Because you started it off so ex exciting, and then the game slows down and people get mad. Okay, I am really good at this so far. There are some other guys I want to beat them up. Come here. Damn it! At least it wasn't an explosion that interrupted me this time. It was a giant robot. Okay, now I'm finally fighting something. Um, my weapons back. What weapons? Where are my weapons? Ah, fire! Not good. Are these guys holding weapons? No, I don't see any. Stacy's mom is got it going on. Roll, 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 roll. Shit, shit! Oh, it's very close. Uh, anything? Hey, that thing looks important. Here we go. Climbing a pole, climbing a pole, and jumping off it. There we go. Finally hurting someone. The stuff. Where's my gear? Stuff you took away from me. Where's my gear? Uh, talk to you is against the rules. <laughs> Where's my gear? In the lower hall. Am I a pacifist? Come on, punch his face in. Oh. Yeah, I guess he's hurting himself. It's okay, man. Your life's not that bad. You have a cool helmet, at least. Yeah, those bright red lights from those dots aren't no joke. They'll fucking kill you. Okay, um, Escape jump to that pole. Eight launched. Seven pods remain. So he said something about our storage being in a lower, our stuff being in a lower level. So let's keep going. We're going in the right direction. Right. At least I can get my gear back. Oh, this is gear. <laughs> if he said gear, he would get sued by Epic Games. <sighs> Oh yeah, power glove. Let's do this. I am Bomberman. Damn. What is this game? Holy shit. Whoa. Giant burning stick. Almost a lightsaber. Man. This guy is just a bag full of surprises. And muscles. All right, now let's go fight that robot with that giant stick we have. Jump buddy. There we go. How old is this game? I should look at the date when I'm done with this demo. Ugh. Okay. Sliding down. Let's jump. Okay. Now that we have a weapon. Here we go. Shield will automatically Come block on. bullets. Camera! Whoa! Oh. Okay, now it feels like Force Unleashed. Okay. I like it. Whoa, droids! Combat Speaking of Force Unleashed... Right. At least they're not active. 
Oh, I'm still moving. Okay, I thought it was a cutscene. This game has a very cinematic feel to it. Again, just like an Unreal game. Runs on the Unreal Engine. Okay. Oh. Booyah. Haha. <laughs> Push L in a direction, press A to evade. Oh, I knew that already. Fuck yeah, dude. I feel like a badass. I got Killix Kali Yuga staff. Is that a reference to Soul Calibur, also made by Namco Bandai? Kali Yuga, show me the way. Booyah. Escape pod seven launched. This is only chapter one. This game really is setting itself high standards. And this is a demo! Jeez! Better get a move on. Oh no, more droids! Baboosh! Oh, nice! That's awesome! A wide attack is more spread out and wide. Yeah, I should have figured that one out on my own. <laughs> Oh shit! Stun charge! Oh, I missed. Stun charge! There we go. All right, Kali Yuga, you're a beast. All right, let's move. Come on. Ugh. Can't go through this door. Can I open it? This camera angle is really freaking offsetting right now. Uh, can I break it? No, I can't break it. Um, what do I do? Okay, well, the door's the point of interest. I killed all these droids. Maybe it's something over here. Burn the free! No. Um, dang it, I'm lost in a demo. Just shows how good I am at video games. Eh. Is there a path up or way that I could go? No. Maybe I could power this thing up with my stun attack. No, it's definitely not it. What do I do? Can I go in the lower level? I can't go down there. Okay, seriously, this camera angle is really annoying. I can't see anything that's in this room unless I'm walking straight. Ow, that's fire. Uh, where do I go? I don't know where to go. What is that, an arrow? Well, it's not an arrow to go that way, that's for damn sure. Getting lost in a demo. Getting lost in a demo. Is there an interact button? Wait, B is to use. Alright, use the door. Come on, use it. Use anything in this room. I am constantly tapping B. What do I do? Pause the game. Uh, options. Control options. No, that's not what I wanted. Get out of the fucking pause menu. Uh, this thing is really overstaying its welcome. Can I just die? Is I not supposed to go that way? Whoa! Oh! I'm an idiot. I was going the wrong way that whole time. You guys are probably going to dislike the hey! video for that. Hey! Open the door! He can't hear you. I mean, she can't hear you. Wow, she really is cute. Ooh, he's cussing. What a bad boy. Whoa! Straight out of John Carter. Wow, this really shows how tiny we are. Wow, this guy's part monkey, part Nathan Drake. Alright. And... Jump? Jump? Okay. And we drop. 
Yeah, there we go. This does look like a ship from John Carter, I swear. That's a great movie, by the way. Oh, man, this is just crazy. Even for an Unreal game. Oh, things are breaking off. And there's a robot. Seriously, a really exciting first chapter for a game. I gave you props for doing that. But you're setting yourself really high standards, which is a bad move for a video game. Because then you got to keep this action throughout the entire game if you want people to love your game. Okay, RT is the block. Can I lock on? Ah! This guy's invincible. Oh yeah, it, I keep pressing B to attack. I don't know why. What game have I played recently where B button is to attack? I'm not sure. B button just feels like an attack button. Jump on the... Oh, no. Jump on that. It's a good thing this game doesn't allow me to jump off the cliff. I would have done that a lot by now. Okay. Jump! Oh, God, this is really making me... Ugh. It's not making me sick. It's making me really scared. I don't want to fall. Woohoo! It is cool, though. I like it. Still, I don't like how crazy this game starts out. Like, let me ease into it. Oh, well. I guess I'm just not used to... I guess I'm not used to crazy games at this point. Uh, ah! Oh, that was so close. Here we go! Quite the leap of faith. Ooh, another cutscene. Whoa, Statue of Liberty! This takes place on Earth? I wouldn't be able to tell by this weird ship that looks alien. Okay, that was quite the plot twist. Oh, we're gonna crash. Oh, we're gonna crash? How lovely. I couldn't tell by all the parts breaking off in this ship. Huh. There's a door, we need to get to it. Three pods remaining. Three pods? Use the door! Oh, now you can use it. Hmm, big, keep pulling. There you go. Oh, a nice one. Did damage to a ship that's already crashing. Aren't you just a genius? Whee! We're gonna die. Holy shit. I'm still surprised that this is on Earth. Most games don't take place on Earth. That are like this, at least. Whoa, everything's all mossy. Okay, it's a post-apocalyptic Earth. Now you're getting more common with the gaming atmosphere. Oh, God, I'm moving. Gotta go fast. <sighs> all right, I'm really good at this. Ah! Oh, my God, that was really close. Man, I should play Uncharted. I look like I'd be good at this kind of stuff. Keep going, keep going. Jump to that. Jump! Here we go. Uh, what's going on? Oh no, more stuff is falling apart. Oh, there's there are escape pods. I need those. Ah! Buildings! It's like 912. Okay. Crashing into buildings in a giant ship. You know, nothing too unusual for New York. They've seen a lot. Let's go. 20 seconds? That's not enough time. Oh, there's an escape pod. Okay, never mind. It is a bit of time. And a moment of silence for our hero. Thanks for interrupting the silence. Oh, shit. You better hang on, man. You need that Wanda grip. Or Wandai. Or Wander. From Shadow of the Colossus? Yeah. What I mean is, if you don't know what that means, he needs really tight grip. That's all I was getting at. For those of you who got the joke, the, the explanation wasn't really needed. Okay. Yeah. It's definitely a post-apocalyptic New York. Everything's really mossy which means it's been sitting untouched for a very long time. I know my video game stuff. Oh, man, Unreal is just obsessed with post-apocalyptic settings. I can't blame them, they're pretty cool. This is the slowest the demo's ever been, is him laying down. Everything else is pretty crazy.
America. Oh, it's Grand Central Station. I could tell by that clock. I'm asleep on a mattress. Talk about convenience. It's probably really uncomfortable due to all that rubble. But this guy's a trooper, obviously. We survived the ship crash. Okay, you're gonna finally stop running from me? After you tried to kill me? Oh, God, my, my head feels like it's ripped open. It's not, though. The You're okay. <clears throat> what? The slave headband. The one I fit on you. What? You put this on me. Let me explain. Get this thing off, or I'm gonna rip your head off. <laughs> no. No? You think I'm screwing with you? You! You made it stop! Ow! Oh, it's that, like, that helmet that that guy was wearing. It works. Come in, move away from me. Wait, what? Oh. What the hell are you doing? Oh, nice ass. I hacked a slave headband. So it could be activated by my voice commands. Activation triggers a systemic pain response. Oh, jeez. It's what controls the slaves. Oh, jeez, I feel high. And it can't. If my heart stops beating for any reason, the headband will discharge a lethal dose. Oh, shit. If I die, you die. Oh. Well, that's bullshit. <laughs> Why? I need your help. I come from a wind farm community. It's about 300 miles from here. I'll never make it on my own. If slavers don't get me, Max will. That's the deal. Get me back to my home and you can go back to yours. Where is my home? Where's your home? This is Earth, but it's deserted. Looks like I don't have a choice. Neither of us do. I'm sorry. This chick is crazy. Let's go. It's a good thing she's hot. getting a Jack and Daxter feel from this game. Alright. I'm interested. Wow, this game is really old, and it holds up very well. Then again, it is running on the Unreal Engine, which is a very good engine. And that's the end of the demo. Uh, <laughs> holy crap. That's a lot to take in. Uh, looks like it's a pretty story-driven game, which is actually pretty cool. I want the games that I'm going to be playing on the channel to be story-driven, and this one looks pretty damn crazy for a story-driven game, which is very rare. I mean, we did have Bioshock Infinite, that one was really crazy and very story-driven. So, I rate this game, uh, it's one of those games where I'm like stuck in, no, no, what is, what's going on? No, not again. Okay. It's one of those games where I'm kind of like stuck in the middle, where I want either to play on the channel in the future or just play it off-screen. But I feel like this game would be pretty crazy 
and I wouldn't want you guys to miss my initial reactions to the entire game. So this is definitely a game that I want to try on the channel in the future and do a full playthrough of. It, it looks really cool. Um, and I've never heard of it too, so all this was just brand new. It feels like a brand new game, even though it was made in like 2010. So yeah, that was Enslaved uh, on RT One Take on RT Online. Yeah, it's kind of weird. It sounds kind of weird. I'm going to come up with a better outro for this series. While I'm doing that, you guys have a great time on Ride Time. I will see you all next time.